It's amazing the ease with which strangers can become friends. We encountered this with our German family, a wonderful, hardworking group. And now again, hundreds of miles away in the state of New Hampshire. That says something to me about the value of expressing oneself creatively. We discussed this, Ming Ohm and I. This connection shows the value of sharing knowledge and ideas. It's been on my mind lately. It takes courage, that's for sure. But it has proven time and again to be rewarding in the richness of company and value of experience it draws. I notice how Ming's expression attracts like-minded people. They are creative, hardworking, kind, curious. They're all doers. While their nationality, language, interests, personalities, mannerisms, ideas may all be unique, these individuals all seem to have a common drive. Ming, Ohm, and I have been fortunate to be welcomed by this from time to time. New Hampshire is a beautiful place. Escaping Florida's 93-degree, heavy sauna air was a relief on its own. The smell of the towering pines and the views of the green mountains welcomed us with open arms, just as the people did. We trained in a small town with an even smaller, close-knit crew of fellow neighbors and farmers. They had known each other for years and had a strong respect for one another. Our New Hampshire group discovered Core JKD in 2016 and determined to impart self-defense skills to themselves and their friends, began training along with our videos in their home. Doug showed us their garage setup. Punching bags, grappling mats, protective gear, collie sticks, and an outline of their favorite conditioning exercises all sitting beside the snowmobiles and WD-40. There's a TV mounted on the wall above the equipment. It was used to play our videos so they could train alongside them. Like I said, doers. It can be a different challenge learning new skills, especially physical ones over the screen, as opposed to in person. I'm sure many of us were thrust toward that learning curve in the last couple of years. Doug and his crew made this work for them, and it showed. Each of them had a strong physical base and their own unique strengths. They asked the right questions and were each so curious about learning, all arriving with an empty cup and a sense of humor in regard to what they didn't know. It's a joy to train and befriend people with an attitude like that. We were able to impart an understanding of the body feel that goes along with the technical information they had been studying for years. They were doing a lot of things right and were able to make adjustments to their training because of the experience we shared together. Against our new stimulus, the group discovered what habits would or wouldn't work in a threat-to-life scenario, and alternatively, what could improve their performance. I was happy to get to be a part of that. I get excited by sharing the feel of a certain technique or explaining the why behind something, especially when I can remember the process I had to go through to learn it in my own training. As a student in these seminars, it's always valuable working with new people. I'm always learning. With each new opponent, there's an inevitable roadblock in store. It's only a matter of whether or not it comes up in our brief time together in the context of a certain lesson. These occurrences aren't always correlated with experience either. Someone with zero training or with thousands of hours of training are equally as likely to present something unique. It could come in many forms. A new body type, an unexpected movement, a well-rehearsed technique, an ingrained habit. It may not be pleasant in the moment, for my ego mostly, but it's always educational despite the discomfort. It educates my body in a way I don't have to stop and think about, but also recruits memory and problem solving in a way I certainly do. At the very least, when time is in short supply, I can file away these experiences of failure or difficulty and refer back to them at another time. It's another puzzle to add to the list. It expands my knowing of what I don't know. On the other end of the learning experience, instructing, I enjoy getting to explain things to other students in my own way. It's exciting seeing someone's progress in real time, or the occasion when one's eyes light up in understanding. This is especially enjoyable when someone gets to feel a technique for the first time, as compared to their perception of it from afar. While another student is learning something from my experience, I'm also getting the opportunity to refine my speech. I have to figure out how to be clear and concise without sacrificing important concepts. I have to stop myself from including all the interesting little details I would love to share but it may be excessive or overwhelming if shared all at once. I also get to problem solve. I have to understand when my message is unclear to the individual and have to be able to come up with a different visual aid or change the exercise completely to get us on the right track. Ming is highly skilled at this, and it's something I try and pay attention to. I look forward to these seminars. It's a good opportunity to expand one's outlook 
not only in training, but also in life in general. It's easy for us to get stuck in routine with our day jobs or other responsibilities that come with life. That's unavoidable. But being able to interact with new people for a time in a safe and mutually respectful environment allows us to break from routine and creates a new perspective. It helps me understand what in life is important and what's just filler. Meeting good people like those you've met in Germany and New Hampshire makes the world feel just a little bit smaller and more connected. I grow. I'm fortunate to get to experience this, and I hope others have opportunities like it, to meet others who share their interests and can learn from one another in a positive way. My best to you in your training and exploration. Ninja. <laughs>